of our time and the blessings of Allah Azza wa that we need to be grateful for, of our time that we may really overlook. It was not that long ago uh, that this was so common. Anas radiallahu anhu said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَا مِن مُسْلِمٍ يَمُوتُ لَهُ ثَلَاثَةٌ لَمْ يَبْلُغُ الْحِنْثَ إِلَّا أَدْخَلَهُ اللَّهُ الجنه بِفَضْلِ رَحْمَتِهِ إِيَّاهُ That there is no Muslim who loses three children. Again, the wording reflects, you know, this was happening and, you know, not isolated incidents. There's no Muslim who three children uh, die for that have not yet reached the age of sinning. al hinth is sinning, meaning they have not become accountable yet, except that Allah will admit this person into Jannah bifadli rahmatihi iyahum by virtue of his mercy uh, towards them. They will, they will include the parents as well. And Abu Huraira, this is in Bukhari and Muslim, and Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لا يموت لأحد من المسلمين ثلاثة من الولد لا تمسه النار إلا تحلة القسم. No, uh, Muslim, none of the Muslims, uh, no one of the Muslims loses three children except that the fire will never touch him except to atone uh, or except for or except in the way of uh, fulfilling Allah's vow. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala vowed in Surah Maryam, وَإِن مِنْكُمْ إِلَّا وَارِدُهَا There is no one of you except that he will be subjected to the fire, or enter the fire, or pass through the fire, or pass over the fire. It's actually a, a big controversy uh, re regarding what that ayah means. Allah says he swore that everyone will pass through the fire, or over it. or uh, And so... Some of the scholars said what this hadith means is some people will pass through it, but Allah will not allow them to feel it the same way Ibrahim alayhi salam did not feel the fire that he was thrown into. Meaning they will not be touched by the fire except in a way that fulfills Allah's vow that all will go through it. But not in a way that would involve punishment and burning. This is what's intended. And the third hadith, Abu Sa'id al-Khudri radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, جاءت امرأة a woman came إلى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم to the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم فقالت and she said يا رسول الله ذهب الرجال بحديثك O messenger of Allah the men went off with حديثك your words meaning the men get to always hear your words you're always talking to them we're stuck in the back right where we don't get to approach you ask you questions speak to you with as much access as the men men went off with uh, speaking with you. They won the treasure of getting to speak to you, you know, unbridled. فَاجْعَلْ لَنَا مِن نَفْسِكَ يَوْمًا نَأْتِيكَ فِيهِ تُعَلِّمُنَا مِمَّا عَلَّمَكَ اللَّهِ So designate for us one of your days that we can come to you and you can teach us from what Allah taught you. And it's what a wise woman, right? <laughs> and she said from what Allah taught you, like it's, Allah gave you something for us and we want it the way the men got it as well. Even her eloquence is, is uh, very evident. And Abu Sa'id says that the Prophet ﷺ said, All right, tell the women to assemble on this day. This day meaning each, each week. And so they got together. And so he would come to them, alayhi salatu wasalam, and teach them from what Allah taught him. ثُمَّ قَالْ And then he said, meaning on one of those occasions, مَا مِنْ كُنَّ مِنْ امْرَأَةٍ There is no woman amongst you. تُقَدِّمُ ثَلَاثَةً مِنَ الْوَلَدِ That basically suffers three children, the loss of three children. إِلَّا كَانُوا لَهَا حِجَابًا مِنَ النَّارِ Except that they will serve for her as a barrier from the fire. فَقَالَتْ امْرَأَةٌ A woman said, وَاثْنَيْنِ She said, what about two? So the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said, وَاثْنَيْنِ And also two. This is Sahih Bukhari and Muslim. سبحانك اللهم بحمدك شهدوا اللَّهِ إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنْتَ نَسْتَغْفِرُكَ نَتُوبُ إِلَيْكَ